All right, what's up? Today, just as promised, we're gonna be installing macOS Sequoia, beta one of macOS Sequoia on my MacBook Air here. Now, I said in my community post that I was running into issues installing it, and the issues were that it straight up would not install with the package, the, PK, the PKG file. But I had a, a pretty smart solution here, which is this. I created a USB of macOS Sequoia using OpenCore Legacy Patcher. Um, I obviously didn't use the patcher because OpenCore does not recommend you install Sequoia yet. But I created a installer for macOS Sequoia using the official Apple installer. I created it on my 2000, 2009 iMac and uh, now we should be able to install it. So first off, let me get the external drive to install it onto. Here we go. Now, because I tried to install this before, I already made my volume, the volume to install it on. Okay, so we just gotta shut this guy down and boot back up into the startup options. Continue holding for, holding for startup options, loading startup options, and there we go, install macOS 15 beta. It still shows the macOS Sonoma icon, which is funny, but yeah, it is indeed macOS Sequoia. So yeah, okay, macOS recovery, let's uh, log in. Okay, macOS 15 beta, continue. This is on a USB 2 flash drive, so it's going to be a bit slow. Um, and just a note, if you're going to be installing macOS Sequoia via a flash drive, then make sure you have at least a 32 gig flash drive, because now, um, uh, according to our good friend Mr. Macintosh, he said that the installer, uh, the installer, takes up, and I can verify this myself, the installer takes up like almost 18 gigs, which is pretty ridiculous. And so, yeah, you definitely need at least a like 32 gig flash drive in order to install this. This is a 32 gig flash drive and it's USB 2. So that would explain the one hour remaining in there. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna take a while. Um, okay, yeah. So you can tell that this is very much a lot, this is a lot bigger of an update than uh, before. Um, and the unfortunate thing is with beta one of macOS Sequoia, unfortunately, we don't have access to Apple intelligence. Uh, those features are not implemented in just yet, even though this Mac right here, the M1 MacBook Air, even though it supports Apple intelligence, uh, it's not available in beta one right now. So we're gonna have to wait for that and uh, in later. Um, apparently there is a wait list that Apple's gonna uh, enable for Apple intelligence. And so um, again, this if it does come in beta later this summer, then I'll definitely make a video showcasing everything about Apple intelligence. Um, and another feature that's also not in beta one of Sequoia is the iPhone mirroring feature, which allows you to mirror your iPhone display and even control your iPhone all through your Mac, which is a really cool feature, but unfortunately it's not enabled in beta one. So uh, we basically have like almost nothing <laughs> to look through on beta one here of uh, Mac OS Sequoia, so uh, it's whatever. We're gonna we're gonna just look through whatever we can, um, including the new tiling feature, which looks very much like Windows Snap. Um, there's some new wallpapers. There's some new like classic Mac OS themed wallpapers, which is pretty cool. And there is um, I don't know a couple other things. We can look through the new Safari stuff and. Um, I think that's about it, really. Yeah, not much to look through with this update, at least in beta one. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what we can look through. All right, I'm gonna... Oh, whoa, wait. Oh, okay, I thought for a second it just shut down there. No, it's, um, it goes to sleep after a little bit. So, yeah, I'm gonna go through um, this and uh, come back to you in a bit. All right, see ya. One hour later. Okay, I went away for a bit. Uh, my time did actually, it took about 50 minutes to do this. Um, 
but hey now it's uh now it's um officially been installed and if this goes just as uh how it did with mac os sonoma then this is gonna finish really really fast so um i'm going to just honestly i'm just gonna leave this recording and um we'll see what happens here all right see you in a second And just like that, it's done. So we have the pretty wallpaper um, that took about less than three minutes. So yeah, um, yeah. So we have the cursor, United States, and we have light mode and dark mode. Oh, the dark mode wallpaper looks cool, but we'll just keep it on light mode right now. Oh, there's a new welcome to Mac screen. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, they didn't have that before. Welcome to Mac. Continue. This is like the that was like kind of reminds me of the old like intro videos except not as cool <laughs> so yeah um feedback assistant yep we'll probably use that later let me increase the brightness so we can see it better and let's go to about this mac um yeah mac os 15.0 it doesn't say um sequoia but we also saw that in the installation it doesn't say sequoia anywhere so um, apparently, according to some, uh, internal, um, f uh, like, code lines, um, this, uh, this was originally not even supposed to be called Sequoia. It was going to be entirely different naming. Um, I forgot what the name was. I'll put it up on the screen right now. Um, but yeah, even right here, it just says Mac OS 15 and not Sequoia. So it, it kind of makes me wonder, did they, uh, like... It looks like they didn't even intend for this to be called Sequoia at first. So, yeah. Um, and apparently the system settings has been, like, reorganized a little bit. Um, so, system settings has apparently been reorganized a little bit. Um, I mean, it kind of looks almost exactly the same as what it was, which is not good. So, yeah. But let's take a look at the new... Um, so, you have the new dynamic wallpaper, which does look cool as show as screensaver. Um, let me actually see the screensaver here. Oh, yeah, they already have it in beta 1. That's pretty rare for them to have it already implemented in beta 1. But, yeah, it does look really cool. You have, you know, rolling through Sequoia. Um, I'd say this wallpaper is a bit better than the Mac OS Sonoma wallpaper. Although I wish, uh, I, well, the Mac OS Sonoma abstract wallpaper. I wish they have like a, I don't know, like a, um, actual landscape of Sequoia National Park. If they, yeah, you know, add that in a later beta or whatever. But let's also turn on dark mode. Let's see that dark wallpaper. Oh man, yeah. That looks really, really cool. And yeah, I assume screensaver for that as well. Um, there you go, it's kind of laggy there. Yeah, okay. So let's take a look at this new Macintosh wallpaper. Yeah, oh man, that's cool. That's really cool. Macintosh wallpaper, the crazy ones. Yeah, so you have automatic, you have light and dark, you have the light one. Oh yeah, that's that's really cool. That's really cool. So you have light and dark automatic spectrum. So you have, you can do a random. So yeah, I just pick a random color, like a dark gray. Yeah, that is really cool. That is a really cool wallpaper that they have there. And it even has a show a screensaver as well. So let's see the screensaver for that. Yeah, that's really cool. It has the bomb screen. <laughs> this wait, this is say sorry. Oh, wait, hang on. What does it say? A system error. Illegal instruction. <laughs> okay, yeah. A system error occurred. Illegal instruction. That's a. Uh, that's pretty funny there. But yeah, this is a. Uh, this is a really cool wallpaper and screensaver that they have here. And I assume it's dynamic as well. So if I like, you know, pause it, yeah. It's dynamic and it'll set in. Yeah, I mean, you know, we have some cool wallpapers, but let's just uh, keep it on the default for now because it looks cool. Um, also, it's like um, kind of a bug there. There's no transparency up there. Don't know if that's a bug or a feature. Um, yeah, the the menu bar is not transparent there. That's that's weird. It's like macOS Catalina all over again. 
So yeah, so one of the big new features is the, what I like to call the knockoff of Windows Snap. So you, yeah, you can, you can now arrange them just like how it is on Windows. You can uh, arrange, you know, let's do like Safari over there. Yeah, I mean like for me, I, I just, you know, use a third party app called Rectangle for this, but now it's just built in into the system. So yeah, oh, that's kind of buggy. But yeah, it's just, um, now it's just built into the system, so that's cool. So, um, I mean, that's really the biggest change we can see here. Um, let's, um, I'm gonna look through, I'm gonna look through the Apple website and let's see what, uh, what else has changed so that we can look through. So if I like, uh, if I'm holding down, yeah, right there. Yeah, it shows me preview of the ways I can tile it. So that's pretty cool. Um, and I believe as well, if you hold up there, yeah, so you can arrange it just like how you want. So yeah, if you, you know, hover over this, yeah. So I can do it like this and I can do it like uh, this as well. Um, we'll just do full screen, I guess. So we'll do just uh, apple.com. Um, so here we go. So we have highlights, turn this on. Um, so I assume, let's just do, I don't know, the Apple Intelligence website. Um, doesn't show up exactly what there. Let's just do like, I don't know, Mac rumors. Okay, so I'll highlight, so yeah, right there. So Apple announces iOS 18. So yeah, there's a new uh, changes to reader, to the reader mode. Um, but how do I get to the highlights? Um, this is a beta one, but how do I get to highlights? Yeah, I don't really know how to get to that. So, I mean, yeah, we'll just leave it as is, I guess. So let's see, so web videos, so let's just do, I don't know, YouTube, or actually, so here we go, so web video, so apparently, um, if we do like, I don't know, let's do the Apple WWDC event, um, watch the keynote, the video viewer available, it said, so yeah, video viewer, and yeah, it just shows you the full-on video here. Um, puts it front and center, so yeah. I mean, that's cool. That's cool there. Um, passwords app, so um, again, I didn't sign in with the Apple, with my Apple account, which yes, it's now called Apple account in here instead of Apple ID. So yeah, passwords app, um, you can view all your passwords there. Okay, so, oh yes, we have voice recordings so apparently there's gonna be transcriptions on here so this is a test of the voice recordings in macOS Sequoia pretty cool okay so apparently there should be like audio transcriptions on here um let's say done okay so hey there you go there you go and it's uh not good it's not good it said this is a test of the voice recordings in in -ac in access, uh, in access sequoia <laughs> pretty cool i mean uh it's uh it's decent i guess <laughs> let's try that let's try that again here's another test of the voice recordings in mac os sequoia pretty cool okay so let's see the transcription uh, okay Okay, here we go. Here is another test of the voice recordings in macOS Sequoia. Pretty cool. It didn't capitalize Sequoia, and it capitalized the M in macOS, but it's it's better. It's better. <laughs> I mean, I assume they're using some sort of AI for this, so yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. So now you can color, like, things in your notes. So let's say this is cool. Um, let me make a title. So now we can color that to whatever we want now so yeah there you go that's cool um calculator yes that's another change that they did for macro sequoia so so oh it takes a while for safari to quit there um so let's take a look at the calculator app and yeah this is a uh, more of like what it is on ios ipad os now it's more circular um you have scientific and you have uh, math notes so there we go um or it said math notes but uh didn't load up there interesting but i assume if we do like one plus one equals yeah equals two so 
yeah, it will show up there. But yeah, so we have, you know, calculator. I mean, it's, you know, the same calculator as we've had. You know, we have conversion. Yes, yeah, so we have like, I don't know, let's do like 12, 12 dollars USD is 11, 17 euros. So, yeah. Okay, weather apparently has some updates. So let's open up the weather app. Weather would like to use your current location. Yep, so apparently the feels like temperature shows up more prominently next to, yeah, okay, so... Yeah, it says actual temperature and then feels like, so you can see exactly what it feels like and what it's actually like, so yeah. And Freeform got some updates as well, so there's like new scenes in Freeform. Um, make a scene, okay, so add scenes, add a scene. Okay, so I think, I think it's just like, kind of like layers, I guess. Kind of like layers in photo editing. Kind of so that's that's cool for freeform and calendar yes calendar so calendar has like um reminders built in so first of all the calendar app does not have like the same design as what it did in ios 18 ios 18 had like a much more different design for calendar app but uh we can add a new event add a new reminder so yeah you have reminders let's just say i don't know test and yeah you have the reminders, you can check off the reminders from here. Yeah, right there, so test, and then we can uncomplete it, and then complete it again. So yeah, integration with reminders in calendar. And really other than that, that's just about it. Um, really, aside from Apple Intelligence, this is a pretty minor upgrade. Um, but again, Apple Intelligence will be coming out in a wait list, apparently. So it's coming out in a wait list in a later beta, I believe. So, at least that's from what I understand. We're going to see Apple Intelligence later in Sequoia. Um, but hopefully it will be available in the public release of Sequoia when it hopefully comes out this fall. Um, here's the compatibility list of Sequoia. It works with just about every Mac that, that was compatible with Mac OS Sonoma. Except for the 2018 and 2019 MacBook Air. Those got dropped with this update, but every other Mac is still supported. So, you love to see that. Um, but for Apple Intelligence, you need a Mac with Apple Silicon to work. So M1, M2, M3, and presumably M4 in the future. So, yeah, there you go. That's a Mac OS Sequoia 15, Mac OS 15. So, so yeah, that looks like a pretty decent update. Obviously, we haven't seen Apple Intelligence yet. That's probably going to be what's going to make or break this update. Uh, because right now, this update right now is not really complete in its current state. So... Yeah, but iPhone mirroring, apparently the iPhone mirroring app is somewhere in uh, the, uh, like, uh, somewhere in the system, but it's not, like, um, uh, like uh, openly available. So let's just say, like, iPhone. Yeah, right there. Yeah, right there, iPhone mirroring. We, we found it right there, but if you try to open it, oh, it says modified June 6th. I assume that's when it's compiled, but if we try to open it, it's going to look like crash, I believe. Yeah, it just crashes, so it's not going to load. You can see it in the dock, not loading. So, yeah, it's uh, trying to open, but it can't open. So, yeah, it's just not going to work. Um, yeah, it's even grayed out here in the applications folder. Yeah, I guess it'll probably be active in like beta 2, beta 3, or whatever, whatever later beta we, we get for Mac OS Sequoia. But for now, at least it's not available. So, so yeah, overall, right now, Mac OS Sequoia not really finished. Um, but hey, hopefully by, hopefully by the time it releases, we get Apple Intelligence, we get the iPhone mirroring. Hopefully when iPhone mirroring does come to Mac OS Sequoia, I'll demo it for you guys right here. But for now... That's just about it for Mac OS Sequoia. So yeah, and by the way, I'll be doing some installations, live installations, just like what you saw with the iOS 18 beta one live installation that I did yesterday. Um, you'll see more installations of beta two, beta three, beta four, and then some. So yeah, that's about it for Mac OS Sequoia. Um, what do you guys think of this update? Let me know in the comments. Uh, and will you be upgrading to your main Mac on day one? Does your Mac support Apple Intelligence? <laughs> it's, uh, all these questions. Let me know in the comments. All right. That's about it. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys, uh, later. Have a good one, and bye-bye.